Well, 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 everyone. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing to my YouTube channel. More lighthouses coming up soon. More ships and more Japanese tattoos coming up soon. So I'm glad you liked the last videos that I've posted it. I told you, I promised y'all while well, I was going to get you guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about a Japanese tattoo 101 is Jiraiya. Jiraiya, you may know him in anime in Naruto as the perverted frog wizard the perverted frog shinobi but he is actual based on an actual mythology mythological um, um figure in japanese culture so as you see this is a this is original yukioi print um many people got tattoos of him and don't realize who this guy is so basically let me give you a brief history of what he is and stuff like that so jiraiya so also known as young thunder in japanese originally known as o okatsuga shuma um hero yuki is a toad writing protagonist of the japanese folktale of katakuchi kidion jiraiya, jiraiya monogatari the tales of the of the of the gillian also known as jiraiya the tale was originally in, in Yumohan was published in 1806-1807 and was adapted into a serialized novel that was written by authors and published in 48 installments from 1839 to 1868. One of the illustrators of his woodblock artist, Kusun Kunisada uh, Kawatake Mukumami, sorry if I'm butchering Japanese, their name's wrong, I'm sorry, then wrote a kabuki drama based on the first 10 parts of the novel, which premiered in Edo, modern day Tokyo, um, in 1852, starting Ichikawa Durujo uh, the fourth, I think, is V1111. Um, in Roman numerals. In the leading role, since the story has been adapted to several films, video games, and manga, and has also influenced various of his work. Now, the original story of it, this, there's a lot of series of this part because I could do a second episode on this on Jiraiya itself. But I'm giving you the brief history, and you guys want to know, like, what does he mean? Why should I get him tattooed? Um, what is that? What does that symbolize to me? I'm gonna get to the point. I'm gonna get to the point. So, first and foremost, background story of this is that um, Jiraiya was considered the first novels and to be adopted to Kabuki play. It was written by, of course, the same guys I mentioned, and then as variations. Tell Jiraiya starts with a poor, masterless samurai named Is Isamai Gintaro, who was wrongfully jailed because he could not afford the rent for his farm. His family managed to get the money to pay his bail, so Isami's father, uh, Kurusai, Kur Kurusai, travels alongside his grandson, Tomo Yikuchi, um, to pay Isami's bail. However, on the way to free Isami, Kurochuchi is attacked and killed by Master uh, Rukuryamo, Gun, who kidnaps two-year-olds, Tokochami, and abandons him in the valley. During this time, a masterless samurai named Miyayoshi House and Okatara Shumi Hiroyuki also known as Jiraiya, happens to be young Tomokuchi and decides to raise him as a son. Gitaro is later released to help other villagers become the vassal of Shitsu. Um, after providing courage as a samurai at the same time as a master gun, Gintaro and master gun have begun working together to capture Jiraiya as he is a wanted criminal. Unfortunately, fortunately, through caught, Jiraiya managed to scheme his way out of jail. Gintaro eventually met his wife, now goes by Sino. Now they discuss former hatred whoever killed his father and son. Both unaware that his son's later alive, master gun in, dr in, gr in drives and drops his conversation decides to steal their amulet protection also known as sen 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 ten tenso proceeds to kill both of them and Gentaro soul and toko tokom kuchi while engaged dual master gun and midoro the stepdaughter of Gentaro learns that he has murdered his family while he's allowed toko Chu toko kuchi a chance to exact his revenge he is not able to take on master gun and uses the amulet protection to escape so there's there's part that's part one of the book there's part two so in case you guys are wondering oh my god get to the good part get to the good part get to the good part kevin 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You gotta wait. So basically, the plot is that young Jiraiya is hitting as a retainer to escape, but also attack the band of robbers, retaining his killed and and resist and resisting. Jiraiya goes to a place called Ichigo, where he spends the rest of his childhood. Jiraiya is now led a wandering life, several provinces, and wishes to restore his family name. His swordsmanship, talent, and exceptional bravery allows Jiraiya to become a chief of his own band of robbers. He is seek to disguise a place he robbed in order to learn where the treasure was stored. He will come back and, st and steal the treasure later. One day, Jiraiya had an old man who lived in Shinano and robbed him. And the land was placed full of mountain snow in winter. And basically, he becomes a wizard. That's basically the whole plot of the whole story in this version, right? So now, when this version has happened, like... Jiraiya basically he symbolizes trickery, he symbolizes prowess, and he symbolizes cleverness in a anticipated situation. So yeah, thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. I'll see you next time.